If humanity is to live within the donut, we need to create economic systems that are regenerative by design. Because we have inherited linear degenerative industrial systems. We take Earth's materials again and again. We take from Earth's sources like forests, mountains and the oceans. We stick them in the pipe of production. We make them into things we want. We use it often only once and then we throw it away. And we dump our waste again and again into Earth's sinks, emitting carbon emissions into the atmosphere, throwing plastics and toxins into lakes, rivers and the soil. And this linear degenerative process, this is how we are running down the life support systems of our planetary home. This is how we are overshooting planetary boundaries. So we must turn this linear degenerative process into a circular, cyclical and regenerative one. And how we start that is by recognizing that all materials belong to one of two nutrient loops. They are either biological nutrients or technical nutrients. On the biological side, this is nature's world. All the food, fiber and wood that we use. Nature is continually building and breaking down the building blocks of life and rebuilding from them, always creating conditions conducive to life. In nature, there's no such thing as waste. Everything that comes from one process becomes food for the next. This is nature's genius. But humanity has degraded and run down nature's cycles. And so we must repair and restore and rewild in order to regenerate the living world. Then on the other side, we've got the technical nutrients. We've got synthetics, plastics, ceramics and metals. They may have come from nature, but they've been processed in ways that mean they can't be returned to nature. And so we must learn to mimic nature's genius here by never allowing things to be thrown away. There is no such thing as a way. Everything must be repaired and shared and restored and repurposed and upcycled. We need to minimize the use of new materials coming into the loops and minimize any material that's lost from these loops so that we cycle things around again and again. And on both of these loops, it's really helpful to think of all the materials that flow around these loops as batteries holding complex, valuable materials that we want to protect and store and use as much as possible because they're full of value. And the energy that's required is renewable energy, whether it's solar or wind power or hydro or geothermal, so that also the energy sending materials around these nutrient loops is part of the cycles of the living world. And so this is how we can repair and restore our relationship to the living world, this is how we begin to become regenerative by design.